I'm Jackie Rabbit. Today is all about updates. It's just about the rabbit today, so let's go talk about me. It's so hard for me to do that, so let's go talk about what's going on with me. And I want to share with you what it's like going off hormones for so long. They call it a roller coaster because it is. Go give me a thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell. I'm going to be posting as we go through bottom surgery. You don't want to miss any of it. You want to catch it right when I post it and I'll be answering all your questions because I'll be lying in a hospital bed with nothing else to do. So, <laughs> so you get to talk with me. Come on, let's go talk about me and all my updates and what it's like not having hormones for weeks and weeks. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yep, it's just a few days now, and I don't think surgery's getting called off. Sure looks like everything's just fine. So, ooh, um, feeling the pressure. So, um, this morning, um, I'm usually late. I usually am, you know, I'm slow in the morning and I don't move. This morning I've got, at 9.15, I've got a COVID swab. You know, they do pre-surgery and stuff. And uh, so it's at 9.15. So I'm out of bed at 5.30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go and I'm like, I have an hour and a half to kill. What am I going to do? <laughs> Why am I so early? What's going on? That never happens. Today's my last day of work as well. So, and I have been killing it all week, which isn't exactly great because then my supervisor's like, hey, we, we noticed you're just killing it. Why aren't you always killing it? We may want to have an evaluation with you when you get back. Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, I've been off hormones for a long time now. And, <laughs> oh my gosh. Roller coaster? Yeah, if you throw in skydiving, skydiving, bungee jumping, loss of memory, brain fog, acne, um, <laughs> uncontrollable bouts of anxiety and uh, emotions, um, but I've been keeping them fairly in check. Like everyone's noticing this time, like, hey, you're doing pretty good. You're covered in zits, but you're doing pretty good. <laughs> so, um, hey, some of those are mosquito bites. You know, you guys always hear all the birds and stuff everywhere. And it's like the same bird. I was listening to old videos. It's the same bird always. Caw, 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 always back there, you know. And uh, I know he follows me around. He's like, I'm getting the video first. I'm getting the video first, you know. So, but what you don't hear is the constant because the mosquitoes are trying to eat me, you know. So it's like, and only the girls are trying to eat me. Well, at least I can only hear them. Did you know that you can only hear girl mosquitoes? I don't know if that's true. Go Google it. Somebody told me that, or maybe I Googled it. I don't really remember because of the brain fog and no hormones. Um, and I realize as I'm getting closer and closer, people are telling me stuff about myself that I never really knew. And it's like, really, tell me more, you know? Um, people are making comments too. Like I'm getting a lot of comments from people, good positive ones. And they're telling me stuff like, you know, wow, you're such a good speaker. Um, you should do, you know, public speaking and stuff and oh my gosh you're so eloquent and I love the way you uh, you lay things out so I can understand and I'm thinking you don't realize you don't realize what do people tell me in my real life is the answer to why you think I have such an eloquent speaking personality the reality is I can't shut up that's the reality <laughs> I have what they have always called the gift of gab and if I don't talk there will be an explosion. There will be a girl explosion across Northern California. Three quarters of the population of Northern California will go deaf because I exploded. And it'll be on the news. Something happened in Northern California. Can't hear what they told me anymore, but there's a big pink cloud and we don't know what it is. So, um, yeah, gift of gab. Yeah, can't shut up. You know, and then, uh, so I, I do work with my dad. Some of you kind of caught that after, you know, a little while. And there are days where 
I know I'm a little much. I know I'm like constantly on. I know that sometimes when I'm off my hormones and I get on the tiniest of negative topics, I just really start grinding into it and get really angry. And then I have to cool off and calm down, but that's a half hour later. And so my dad's like, oh my God, when you left work today, I was so glad. Oh, holy God. I, all I could do was to handle you all day long. A friend called me up at the end of work and wanted to talk. And I, I told my friend, oh, for the love of God, no. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I need silence. Yeah, Jackie. All day. Oh, God. She can't shut up. So... <laughs> Some of my customers know this too. I will follow them into the parking lot and keep talking to them as they're trying to get in their car. They're putting their butt into the door like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. They're trying to get in their car and I'm talking and I'm talking and I'm talking and I'm talking. New topic, new topic, talking, talking. And they, they're slowly closing the door. Okay, awesome, starting the car. And I'm like, blah, 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 blah. You know, and they're trying to escape is what it is. They're trying to escape is this crazy woman won't shut up. So that's what you see here on the channel is just, I have no ability to shut up, so I have to spill it all over YouTube. That's the reality of it. So, um, yeah. There's also things people want to tell you. They want to tell you all the time, like um, things that they think you need to know about your bottom surgery and what the, the little benefit of their piece of information is going to be, like lube. All right, so lube. Um, I have to dilate afterwards and you don't want things getting caught up while you're dil dilating. You want really slippery stuff. So uh, everyone's telling you about this lube and that lube, you know, and I'm like, well, you know, I've, I had to go buy lube before, you know, I understand what that is, you know. So I'm ordering my groceries. I'm like, oh, well, you know, at the hospital, I think they use KY jelly. I'll just order some of that, you know, and I'm ordering maxi pads and KY jelly and, um, Oh, I don't know, there was almond milk and um, some bran cereal. I like, uh, I like grape nuts. People think I'm crazy because I like grape nuts. Um, they didn't have that, so I got crackling oat bran. Okay, that's got sugar in it. Jackie likes crackling oat bran, but it doesn't like her waist. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting there at night just munching on crackling oat bran, kind of looking at it thinking, this little square of bran looks a little like dog food. I wonder if that's what dog food tastes like. Maybe I should order dog food next time. But um, Rye Crisp, Rye Crisp crackers, that tastes like dog food. And I know for a fact, because when I was a kid, I would eat dog food. Maybe I shouldn't have admitted that. Um, I was three, four, five. There were, I had a dog food habit for three years. What's the problem? <laughs> so, um, the dog liked it. I figured it must be good. Cat didn't care for it, but she was a snob. So people are telling you. So the most unlikely of people has the best information about lube. And I'm thinking, well, it's good information, but it's weird who it's coming from. My dad. My dad's telling me all about lube. <laughs> but God love him. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> and I'm like, shh. All right, Dad. Neat conversation. Um, gotcha. Sliquid. Astro Lube. Awesome. I think they have that at the grocery store. So my next purchase will be Maxi Pads and Astro Lube. And you gotta, you gotta know the guy from Instacart. It's like, I got your groceries. Here they are. And he's checking me out. He's looking at me like, this chick's getting Maxi Pads and Astro Lube. What is she doing? I might not want to know. And as he's trying to get back to his car and I'm constantly talking to him and he's trying to shut the door going, oh my God, I didn't really want to know. <laughs> Poor guy. I gave him five stars. And made sure to put notes, you know, no substitutions, you know. <laughs> I don't need more KY jelly. I'm not going to use the two bottles I already bought. And one of the things I forgot to get that I need to get next, um, some pH, some specific pH level douche that I have to get. Yeah, I know, too much information, I know. But yeah, this next grocery order, the, the Instacart guy is just gonna be like, 
what is this girl doing? You know, I should make a game of it. I should put bananas, cucumbers, eggplants, and, um, and a pack of Trojans in there and see, <laughs> see what kind of looks I get. I'm unfortunately incorrigible and I take any opportunity to mess with people's minds if given half a chance. And off my hormones, I'm horrible. I'm like an incorrigible comic without any restraint. And uh, physical comedy is funny and I will just sit there and giggle to myself and people are like, she has lost it. She's in her cubicle and she can't stop giggling. I just saw snot dripping out of her nose because she can't stop giggling and she can't do anything about what's happening to her face. You know, it's like, oh no. You know, and then they see me going and getting like a roll of toilet paper around my hand to go back to my desk and stuff. And of course my dad comes in like, we actually have Kleenex. <laughs> you don't have to use toilet paper. We have the, we have the fancy facial tissue, Jackie. It's okay, you, you can use it. You're a people. <laughs> so, anyway, hey, enough of all of that noise. Um, I am so disconnected, off my hormones, can't string two sentences together that make sense. So this is what you got. Um, be glad I have a channel so I talk because I have saved the lives of thousands of people, or at least they're hearing here in Northern California. At least I haven't deafened 53,000 people with a girl explosion. And the pink sky, would, they would not know how to describe that um, for, for decades. So it's all good. I'm saving lives. And my surgery is what, four days? I realized I can't count. I have no concept of days or time. Today is my last day at work and I'm going to work furiously, even though I know when I get my review, they're going to be like, you really kicked some tail for one week. What are we paying you for? Could you please kick tail all the time? No, I was off my hormones. It makes me more energetic. I don't know. Um, I really don't have an excuse. But uh, yeah, I think it's four days now. Yeah, because it's a, it's a Tuesday. I don't know what day it's going to be. I think it's on Tuesday. I don't know. Anyway, I've got to go get my nose swabbed with some sandpaper. <laughs> anyway, take care of yourself. That's the update. I'll keep you in the loop. Just keep watching. Go subscribe, dang it. Subscribe and click the bell so you get all the little alerts. You got this far in the video, you know you're going to pay attention at this point because you want to see how this is going. I'm going to be in my hospital bed and doing nothing but answering your comments. So just say hi to me and I'll say hi back. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye. The customers where I work are just glad to go back to work by the time they try to escape from me and I've talked their ears off. They just get back to work going, oh my gosh, this girl won't shut up. She's telling me about maxi pads and lube and everything else and I just want to work. Put me to work, please, for the love of God. I just want to work. Don't send me back there. <laughs>